Hey guys, it's me Jake from Jakeman21642 and today I bring you a video of this 2012 Chrysler Town & Country Limited. This is a very, very nicely loaded up Town & Country. As you can see, this one has a dark charcoal pearl coat exterior, which looks great on the vehicle. It's a very nice and unique color. It's a very dark gray, which looks great with the tinted windows, chrome accenting on the door handles as well, and some of the chrome accenting around the rear of the vehicle. You can see your limited badge right there, as well as your rear backup sensors, and this one does have a rear backup camera. On this side, this vehicle is riding on Nexen tires. They are pretty much brand new, as you can see. They're in excellent condition. And they are 225, 65, R17s. So you do have 17-inch alloy wheels, rear disc brakes. Along the side, you can see your stow and go badge, as well as your intelligent key entry on the door, and your Chrysler pinstripe. So we'll go ahead and start this one up. It does come with your standard Chrysler key, which as you can see, you have your lock, unlock right there. This button, press it twice, will open your power trunk. This right here, you do have remote start, as well as if you press these twice, you can open your power doors, as you can see on this side. Go ahead, close that. And as I mentioned, this one is equipped with remote start. All you have to do is just make sure the vehicle is locked, like that, and then press right here twice. And as you can see, it starts right up. So coming up to the door, as I mentioned, this one does have intelligent key access. All you have to do is just have the key fob to get into the vehicle. Come up to the door, just touch the handle to unlock, like that. And to lock, just touch right there. So we'll go ahead and start it up. Inside, this one does have the dark frost beige interior with the leather seats and your kind of suede accenting up top. And like I said, this vehicle is pretty much fully loaded inside. It is very nice. So to start, all you have to do, have the key fob in the vehicle, put your foot on the brake and push this button. Go ahead and close the door. And inside of this town and country, as I mentioned, this interior is just absolutely fully loaded. So coming along the door, it's all nice soft touch up top. You do have your padded leather, your stitched leather on your armrest as well right here. Very nice and comfortable with the dark wood accenting that also has these uh, little chrome stripes on it. Chrome door handles. And over here, you do have your memory seat settings right there, as well as both of your power windows, uh, your rear power windows right there. This right here, push it down and it will open the rear vents in the third row and then pull it up and the vents will close. All of those controls along there. As I mentioned, stitched leather armrest. You do have kind of this nicer high up storage compartment right here, just a little. And then down there you have another storage compartment bottle holder. Over here you do have your gauge dimmer, headlight controls, they are automatic, push for fogs. Around here you can see more of the very, very nice dark wood grain on this interior. It continues onto the wheel as well, which is leather stitched with exposed stitching around here. And very nice and actually pretty tight power steering in this vehicle. Along here, you do have some more of your controls for your navigation system, uh, Bluetooth voice commands, and your Bluetooth on the back in typical Chrysler fashion. You do have your radio controls on the back of the steering wheel. Cruise control over here. In the center, you can see the very pretty gauges in this vehicle. At night, they kind of have a uh, light blue accenting to them. As you can see, your tachometer, speedometer, all of that. And this vehicle does have 61,000 miles on it, but it's in excellent condition. Along the dash, everything is soft-touch material. Fits together pretty well in here, all of that. Over here, you do have the shifter for your six-speed automatic transmission with manual shift mode, putting in reverse. This one is equipped with a rear backup camera, as well as your rear uh, park assist will come on. But as you can see, you have your trajectory lines as well with this one. Up here, you do have uh, your premium audio system in this vehicle, which sounds fantastic. All of your radio presets, AM, FM, satellite radio. Over here, you have your navigation. You can go through uh, everything on here. Just show the map, all of that. You have your USB port underneath of this cover, auxiliary right there. Back here, you have your CD drive. 
Down here, you do have an analog clock with your Chrysler logo on it. Adds a nice look to the interior. And down here, you do have your dual zone automatic climate control for the driver and passenger. Rear controls right there, which you can lock so they can only be controlled from up front. You do have heated seats for the driver and passenger, as well as a heated steering wheel on this one. You can sync your different zones. Fan speed in the center. All the controls around there. You do have your econ mode down here. This controls the 110 volt outlet for the rear. Uh, traction control on and off, and hazards. Down here, 6 disc uh, DVD changer for the rear passenger, so you have dual screens back there. Cup holders. Down there, there is some more storage, as well as two power outlets. In the center here, you do have the storage compartment with four cup holders right there. Coming down here, you can actually slide this forwards and backwards. That way the rear passengers can use it, or you can have it up front. But you do have more storage like that. Inside of here, there's another storage compartment with a power outlet. And then in the center right here, you get another storage compartment. So storage is definitely not an issue in the town and country. You can see the seats, very nice and comfortable. They are captain style. And you do have the very, very nice leather on them. It's very high quality feeling with the suede up top. And they are captain's chairs as well. Up here, you have your interior lighting which is LED. Garage link, as I mentioned. Right here, conversation mirror for the rear passengers. All of your power doors, power trunk uh, controls, all of that. Sunroof controls right here. It's just so much to show with this vehicle. So we'll go ahead, put the automatic driver's side window down, make sure all the doors are unlocked, and release the hood right there. Stepping into the back seat of this one, just go ahead and pull the door handle, and the door is power, so it will automatically go back. And as you can see, the seats in the rear are very nice and comfortable. They are stow and go as well. Go ahead and step in, and you can close the door right here. We'll come back around. Along the door panel, all the material qualities do follow through. You do have right here your heated seat controls for the rear passengers, power window controls. This one is equipped with the rear sunshades as well. Just like that, you can bring them up and bring them back down. You have some more wood grain, bottle holder down there. Storage in the center with your uh, wireless headphones for the rear entertainment system right here. As you can see, you do have one screen here as well as another screen right there for the third row. You have your rear climate controls right here as well, which as I mentioned, can be locked from the front seat. Control the temperature and the different zones. LED interior lighting for the rear passengers. And overall, these seats are actually pretty comfortable. Same nice leather as up front with the suede accenting. Go ahead, open the door. And close it again. Coming around to the trunk of this one, it is power assisted. Just go ahead and open it up. Inside, third, uh, third row will also fold. You do have some storage down below with your rear floor mats. But as I mentioned right here, you can control right, left, or both, and just click stow. And just like that, with both of those down, you have a massive amount of cargo space in this vehicle. I mean, as you can see. And just like that, you can bring them back up right here. Just click normal. As you can see, you do have the subwoofer for your rear audio system. Your jack is stored underneath of there. Over here, just like most newer Jeeps, this one does come with the built-in flashlight, which will charge. Just a nice little feature. And as I men mentioned, the tailgate is power assist. Just push right there, and we'll come back down. On this side, go ahead and open the door. As you can see, second row back here, everything follows through. Lift that, and you can access the third row of this vehicle, which is the same nice leather as up front. You have your AV inputs and uh, power outlets over there for the rear entertainment system. You have cup holders, storage, uh, speakers, all of that for the rear passengers. And as I showed you, you do have a monitor for them. Just go ahead and 
bring that back up. Nice and simple like that. Passenger side, you have a full power passenger seat in this one. Glove box down here. You do have more storage up here. This one does include uh, all of the map DVDs, owner's literature, brochure, all of that's in there. And coming up front, up underneath the hood of this one, up front you can see your projector, HID headlights as well, fog lights down below. And up underneath the hood of this one, It is equipped with Chrysler's 3.6 liter V6 engine. Very nice and clean up under here, running excellent. So we'll go ahead, step inside and cut it off. Go ahead, put the automatic driver's side window back up, and remove the key. Just cut the vehicle off. Will chime, remind you to put your headlights back in automatic mode. As always, this vehicle is for sale at Volvo of Richmond, here in Richmond, Virginia. If you are interested in this vehicle, please let Volvo of Richmond know you saw this video. Thanks for watching.